Hi everyone, Dr. Anita Carroll here, and I just finished coming back from helping in the community, and I wanted to share a couple stories that you might find noteworthy and worth paying attention to. Um, a couple of these stories can happen to you, so that's why I want to share the story. You may want to keep an eye out for it at home. So, story number one is watch out for those face masks. Um, you can accidentally pull it off your ear when you remove your mask, and this has happened to a couple people that I've been trying to help. So be sure to double check. First thing, when you take the mask off, be sure to double check that is your hearing feel up there, is your hearing aid still there? Um, do this right after you take your mask so that you can find your hearing aid. Otherwise, if you wait till later, uh, you're going to lose the hearing aid, not know where to look for it. So it's real important to do that first. Um, one of the ways to address this is to take the loops that go over your ear and instead of putting them over your ear, attach a clip, paper clip, hair clip, be creative, um, attach the loops to the clip and then attach them behind your head. So rather than placing them over your ear where it can get entangled with the hearing aid, you can place the loops behind your head and secure them with a clip. So that's a good way to prevent the loss of a hearing aid with a face mask, which actually, unfortunately, is becoming more common. So that's story number one. Uh, story number two is watch out for those cats and dogs and especially those puppies. Um, we're all staying home, spending more time with our pets, snuggling, comforting, and we're enjoying that. But the problem is, is that those little nuzzlers, especially puppies, like to nuzzle right up to your ear and start chewing on your hearing aid. And so you're not even aware of it. And before you know it, the hearing aid is missing. You're not sure where it is. And then by the time you find it, it's in a, a little electronic ball not too happy for sure and this is one of the stories that happened today and she was very upset when she found her hearing aid was chewed chewed up by her dog so fortunately we were able to replace the lost hearing aid from the mask and we were able to replace the chewed up hearing aid from the puppy that doesn't that's not always possible but some but today we were able to do that and so these are some of my stories as I'm out there delivering hearing back to the people in the community. And so I want to make sure that they can hear again. And now they're back in action, fortunately, which is really great. So this can really be a big deal and can get people really anxious when they can't hear, especially under our circumstances with COVID-19 and our quarantine. Uh, it just makes people more isolated just because they can't hear, they can't see, and the way they communicate with people is through hearing, through hearing on the phone or through Zoom, etc. So hearing is very important, especially now. So people generally don't give much thought to their hearing unless there's something, you know, some trouble, and you're stuck at home and you can't hear. So that's what we're out and about doing is trying to maintain the hearing in the community with people who are having some problems. So if you know of anyone who's having some trouble, having some hearing issues, their hearing aid's broken, it's not working, uh, it's lost, or something, somebody chewed it up, give us a call. We can certainly try to help you. We want to make sure you can at least hear during this difficult time where it's such a struggle to even be with people. So that's my news for this week and you have a great week and bye for now. Take care.